everyone and welcome to Olga's Primary Maths. In today's video, we are going to look at some SAT styles problems with percentages. I'm going to show you seven word problems with percentages and they're not going to be simple ones where you just have to find a percentage of a number. We are going to look for percentages of shaded shapes. We are going to look for percentages of its life that koala spends asleep. Oh, stay with us to see how we're going to do that. And there's lots of other percentages problems. So without any further ado, let's go. So this is the first question we're going to look at. It says this model is made with 20 cubes. And the question is, what percentage of the cubes in the model is shaded? Well, let's have a look at this. Well, how are we going to solve this problem? Can we find what fraction of the shape is shaded? How many cubes out of how many are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cubes out of how many altogether? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Seven cubes out of 20 are shaded. So the fraction is 7 twentieth. Can we turn this fraction into a percentage? Well, let's have a look at our denominator. It's 20 and percentage is always out of 100. Can we easily turn 20 into 100 by multiplying? Yes, we can. We can multiply 20 by 5 and it turns it into 100. Whatever, do you remember the rule? Whatever we do to our denominator, we need to do exactly the same to our numerator, to the top number of our fraction. What have we done to our denominator? We multiplied it by 5, so we need to multiply our numerator by 5 as well. So 7 times 5 is 35. So 7 twentieth is the same as 35 hundredths. So now 35 out of 100 is 35%. Now we can find percentage very easily. Okay, so that's your answer, 35%. So 35% of this shape is shaded. Okay, the problem might be when your denominator is not, can't be easily turned into a hundred. But, so you'll have to do something with it first. So for example, with this fraction, you will have to simplify the fraction first, divide the top number by seven and the bottom number by seven, and you're going to get one fifth first, okay? So can you turn one fifth into a hundredth? Yeah, you can. You can multiply the 5 by 20 to get 100. And then you need to do exactly the same to the numerator. So you're going to get 20 hundredths. One fifth is the same as 20 hundredths or 20%. That's if the total number of your squares, your cubes, is 35. Yeah. So sometimes you have to do some other manipulations first. This is our second percentage problem. A koala sleeps 18 hours each day. What percentage of its life is spent asleep? The main, the most important piece of information in this problem is this word day. Okay, how many hours do we have in a day? Well, one day is 24 hours. So this would be 100%. If koala was sleeping all day, 100% a day, it would have been sleeping 24 hours each day. But koala only sleeps 18 hours. So we need to find what percentage 18 hours is. Right, well, what do you know? Can you find 
find, do you know what 50% is? If 24 hours is 100%, what's 50%? What is 50%? 50% is half of a day, it's half of the day, so it's 12 hours, yeah? Okay, now look at the connection here. What about 25%? Can we find 25% of 24? 25% is half of a half, so it's half of 50, so what's half of 12 hours? It's 6 hours. Can you see? So 12 hours in 6 hours will make 18 hours. And what percentage is that then? 50% and 25% added together, 75%. So koala sleeps 75% a day. Or do you remember what fraction that is? 3 quarters of each day. This is our question number three, and it's similar to the first one. What percentage of the grid is shaded? Let's find out first of all what fraction of the grid is shaded. Well, how many squares are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares out of how many altogether? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five times five, twenty-five. So eight twenty-fifths of the grid is shaded. So eight out of twenty-five squares are shaded. Remember when we're working out percentages, we want to know how many out of one hundred can we turn twenty-five into 100 easily by multiplying. Yes, we can. What can we multiply it by? We multiply it by 4. Okay, 25 times 4 is 100. Whatever we do to our denominator, we need to do exactly the same to our numerator. We need to multiply it by 4 as well. What's 8 times 4? 32. So 32 out of 100 is 32. And that's your answer. This is question number four to do with percentages. Dave did a survey of 55 people to see how many people were left-handed. Dave says the results show that exactly 10% of the people in the survey are left-handed. Explain why Dave cannot be correct. This type of question is a uh, an explanation type of question so it's not that you just have to work out what 10% of 55 is but you also need to explain why someone is incorrect so let's have a look at it well first of all what is 10% of 55 do you remember how we work out 10% 10% of a number is when you divide a number by 10 so we need to divide 55 by 10 10% of 55 equals 5.5, 5, 5 and a half. Right, why is Dave not correct? Can we have 5 and a half people? One person and another person chopped off in half. No, we can't, it's impossible. This is why he's incorrect. This is our fifth question to do with percentages problems. 200 children went on holiday, 10% of the children went to Wales, 25% of the children went to Scotland. How many more children went to Scotland than to Wales? Well, there are two ways to work this out and it's up to you how you do it. You can work out 10% of 200, then you can work out 25% of 200 and then find the difference between how many children or you can find the difference between the percentages first what's the difference between 25% and 10% oh it's 15% 25 take away 10 is 15% and then you can just find 
15% of 200. So let's have a look how we do it both ways. Right. Let me see this. I need to be able to see the question. And I'll put it here. Okay. So let's find 10% of 200. Ten percent of two hundred. Two hundred divided by ten is going to be twenty. That's how many people went to Wales. Now let's find twenty-five percent of two hundred. Do you remember twenty-five percent is a quarter when you half a number and then you half it again? So twenty-five percent of two hundred, half it and half it again is going to be fifty. So 50 people went to Scotland. What's the difference between 50 and 20? Three people, 30, I'm sorry, 30 people, 30 children. So the answer is 30 more children went to Scotland than to Wales. Okay, let's see how we do it the other way when you're finding the difference in percentages. So the difference between 25% and 10% is 15%. Yeah? And now we just need to find 15% of 200. Well, we know that 10% is 20 and 5% is half of the 10%, which is 10. Add them together. 30, 30 children, exactly the same answer as before. So it's up to you which way to do it. This is percentages word problem number six. 20% of Megan's number is 64. What is 50% of Megan's number? Right, so we don't know 100% of Megan's number yet, but we know that 20% of her number is 64. Let's write it down. 20% of her number is 64. If we know 20%, can we find 10% of a number? 10% is just a half of 20%. So what's half of 64? Yeah, that's right, 32. So we know 10% of the number is 32. We also know that 100% of the number is going to be 320 then and 50% of a number what's half of 320 half of 300 and half of 20 yeah that's right 160 so 50% of Megan's number is 160 or you also could have multiplied 32 by 5 to find out 50%, let's check if it's the same. 32 multiply by 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry 1. Yeah, exactly the same answer. And this is our final percentage problem for this video. Emily makes 250 grams of a snack mixture. 15% of the weight is raisins. 25% of the mixture is banana chips. The rest is peanuts. How many grams, they're asking about grams, of peanuts does she use? Right? So there's different ways to work it out. But I'll just move it this way a bit so you could see. And I'll put this piece of paper here. So in her mixture, she's got raisins. She's got banana chips. And the rest are peanuts. What do we know so far? We know that all together the mixture is 250 grams. Yeah? Okay. We know that raisins are 15%. We know that banana chip is 25%. And they're asking... How many grams of peanuts does she use? So can we find out what percentage, first of all, are peanuts? 
So we have 15%. So altogether needs to be 100%. Yeah, 100%. We have 15%. Add 25%. What does it make? 40%. Yeah, so peanuts are 60%. Is that right? Check. 15 add 25. 5 and 5, 10. You have 40. 60%. Is that right? Okay. Now, we know the percentage of peanuts now. And now let's find out how many grams. So we need to know what 60% in grams is. So 60%, we're looking for 60% of 250. Right, let's find out 10% is when you divide a number by 10. So 250 divided by 10, which is 25. And 60% is 10% times 6. So 25 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry the 3. 2 times 6 is 12. And we carry the 3, 15. So 150 grams. So peanuts, which are 60% in grams, are 150 grams. And what was our question? Always remember what the original question was. The original question was, how many grams of peanuts does she use? And this is how many grams of peanuts she uses. I hope you found this video helpful with preparation for your SATs exams. Obviously, you're not going to have exactly the same questions in your future tests. However, I'm hoping that looking at this type of questions will give you some strategies to be able to work out similar type of questions in the future.